name. Welcome to this edition of Faithful Devotion, which we call Faith for Healing. Glory to God. Or oh, Healing School. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, we worship you. Father, we thank you for this morning. We give you praise. We thank you for the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Lord, we give you all the glory for every of the healings that is going to take place today. We thank you because you are the same yesterday, today, and forever. We thank you, God, for your healing power. We trust in you, God, that you will heal us today of whatever sickness, whatever disease. For you have sent your word to heal us. Lord, we worship you. For in Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen and amen. Glory to God. Let's just go ahead. Let's worship God with this song for a little while. Glory to God. And why we are also uh, worshiping God, praying in other tongues, you know, let's just go along with this song. Thank you, Lord. Maraladosh. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I want you to let God's healing come to you. Let His Word bring healing to you tonight. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. We we'll praise your name. We we'll praise your name, Lord Jesus. We adore your holy name. Thank you, Lord. We we'll praise your name. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord. There we have sorrows. Thank you, Jesus. We consider them smitten by God. But He did all of those for us. Lord, we worship you. Lord Jesus, we thank you. He was bruised for our transgressions. He was crushed for our iniquities. Mangra de 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 gro de 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 bo 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 bo. Thank you, Jesus. Was up on me. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. By His wounds we are healed. By His wounds we are healed. By His wounds. Surely it took all of our infirmities. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lord, we worship you. Thank you. We thank you. We thank you. We praise your name. Thank you, Lord. The punishment that brought us peace. The that brought us peace was upon Hallelujah. Woo! Declare it. By his bruise, say, I am healed. I am healed, Lord. By his bruise, I am healed. Yes, Lord. By his bruise, I am healed. Say, I am healed. By his bruise, I, I am healed. Thank you, Jesus. By his wounds, I am healed. Thank you, Lord. By his wounds, I am healed. By his wounds, I am healed. By his wounds, I am healed. Maralabadosh. Oh God, we thank you. Bralos, Susu, Sofran, Legredo, Grodokosh, Combrali, Elabatos. Legredosh. 
Thank you, Father. We give a praise. We give a praise. Man, your word will not return for you, God. Thank you, Jesus. Man, people of God, I don't care whatever the sickness, whatever the disease may be. Glory to God. The healing anointing is here right now. Thank you, Jesus. The healing anointing is here right now. The healing anointing is here right now. Glory to God. We are healed. He is the one that is the healer, hear not any man. Sing that. To hear those Le words. Thank you, Jesus. From God tonight, he is Whatever you is it that you need for healing, you can stand in gap for someone. He is our healer. Lord Jesus, we thank you for healing us. He is We are healed. Oh, la balababa. Men grado do do sofre de de grado do 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 bralia da balabato sofre de de grado do do men grado do men grado do ye gre la bato sofre da balabato sofre de de grado do yes lord men grado bato sofre de do yes lord in the name of jesus in the name of jesus be healed in the name of jesus be healed sickness leave in the name of Jesus. Sickness, leave in the name of Jesus. We are healed. By his bruises, we are healed. By his bruise, we are healed. By his bruise, hallelujah, we are healed. Lord, we thank you. We give a praise. We give a praise. We give a praise. We worship your holy name. Thank you because you are our healer. We praise your name. Thank you, Jesus. Let's just pray in the Holy Ghost. Man gredosh. E grelosh. Kombrali elabatu sofre de de grelosh. E loko zuso soprandosh. Kombrali elaba. Pray, pray, pray in the Holy Ghost now. E grelosh. Kombrandosh. Kombrali de grelosh. Sofranda grelosh. E le do sofranda grelosh. Kongredi de grelosh. Sofre de de grelosh. Kong. E loko zuso sofrando kush kong. Me engro luzanto kushka le ketu jigre luzo frandoshko breli elikandoshko brali elabatu so Friday de gra pray in the Holy Ghost me engro luzko le ketu zuzu so Friday de gre luz kambra le ketu jagra luz gangro luzu so Friday de gre luz kambra liya Lord we praise you mangre luzko brali elabatu so thank you Father for in Jesus name we have prayed Amen and Amen glory to God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Father, we'll approach your word with reverence this morning. Open our eyes of understanding to see the truth that are in your word concerning healing, O oh God. Thank you, God, for, for from the beginning. You've always been our healer. We we'll thank you for your healing us. We we'll thank you for placing our sicknesses, our diseases upon our Lord Jesus Christ. He took our place. He took our sicknesses and our disease and he brought us healing. We well, thank you, Father. We give a praise. For in Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen and amen. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Praise the Lord. God is good. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Lord. We give a praise. It is the will of the Lord for us to be healed. Glory to God. It is God's will for us to be healed. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. I'm just going to do something. You know, I think I'm being led of God to do this right now. Glory to God. You know, I'm gonna, just going to read some healing scriptures. Some healing scriptures. Healing scriptures, I'm telling you. I'm just going to heal. I mean, he read some healing scriptures. Thank you, Jesus. 
But first of all, let's read Proverbs chapter 4, chapter 4. Proverbs chapter 4, verse 20 to 22. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, Periscope family. Good morning, Facebook family. Glory to God. Our God is good. Thank you, Jesus. Proverbs chapter 4, verse 20. Thank you, Lord. We worship you. You know, see, faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. Every one of us, we need to keep God's word before our eyes. You see, the word of God is anointed. The word of God can heal, can deliver, can set free. We need to constantly meditate upon God's word, you know, regarding healing. You know, if you are in need of healing, you know, get scriptures regarding healing. Begin to read them out loud. Med read them out loud, meditate upon them, write them. What is it that you are doing? By reading them out loud, you are writing the scriptures upon the tablets of your hearts. You know, faith comes more quickly when you hear yourself speaking God's word. I'm telling you, it comes more quickly. Of course, you are hearing me right now, faith is coming. But it comes more quickly when you actually take that word by yourself and you, you read it out loud to yourself. You know, privately where you can hear yourself reading the word. Glory to God. Because your inner ear is picking up those words and is feeding them directly to your spirit man. Because when you are speaking, you are hearing yourself with your inner ear. Glory to God. But when you are, you are speaking to us, we are hearing you with uh, the outer ear of us. So how you hear yourself, sometimes you say, wow, is that me? Why? Because all, of, all along, or if you record something, then you play it back to yourself. You'll be wondering, is that me? All along, you have been hearing yourself with your inner ear. And your inner ear, praise the Lord, can pick those, what you are saying and you know, you are here, pick them and help, help you to get, I mean, get it directly into your spirit, man. And through that, faith comes more quickly. That is why the reading of God's word out loud by yourself is very, very important. Very, very important. Very, very important. You can go online, you know, just type healing scriptures. You know, the one that I'm going to read from today is by Brother Kennedy Egan. Glory to God. He has the, the YouTube the, the, the audio recordings on YouTube where you can hear it, hear it, or you can even type it, healing scripture by my brother Egan. The PDF will come up. You can, I mean, it's free. You can just hear it. I mean, you can just begin to read it out loud to yourself and meditate upon it. Why? Because it is important for us to have the habit of we want to hear first. We want to hear first because it is in the hearing that you yourself, you're going to be convinced that it is God's will for you to be healed. You know, whatever traditions, whatever thing that they might have told you, but by the time you, are, you get into God's word, you yourself, you're going to be seeing it that, wow, it is, this is what God is saying. No, people are saying that healing is past. No, look at it. God healed this person <laughs> now. You know, why? Because you are giving the Holy Spirit the opportunity to imprint the word of God upon your spirit, man. I'm telling you. And through that, faith is coming. And guess what? You are beginning to get convinced that it is God's will for you to be healed. You are beginning to know that God's, God is interested in you being healed. Not what somebody say. Because by doing that, you are exposing your spirit man to the teaching ministry of the Holy Spirit regarding healing. And thank God, our, um, the wonderful Holy Spirit, our wonderful Holy Spirit is so faithful. It will expand the word of God to your spirit man. So that is why the reading of God's word out loud is very important. And medita meditation is very important. You are meditating upon God's word. You are thinking about it. You are ruminating about it. You, by the time you are ruminating about it, you know, the Holy Spirit is going to be expanding the word. It's going to be helping you to see that by his wounds, by his stripes, you are healed. You are healed. First Peter 2.24 is that by whose stripes you were healed. Matthew 8.17 says, says that it may be fulfilled by that which was spoken by Isaiah, saying himself took our infirmities and bore our sicknesses. Wow. So this disease that is upon me, sicknesses, that's the plural, sicknesses. So this cancer, this terrible migraine has been placed upon the Lord Jesus Christ. When those Roman soldiers were beating him, we're piercing him. We're doing so many things on him. 
They didn't know that it was actually in the realm of the spirit. It was taking our place. Glory to God. It was being bearing for us. It was made sin for us by God. So God allowed him to go through that so that our eternal redemption can be purchased for us. Our healing can be purchased for us. Our, 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 our wealth can be purchased for us because somebody paid the sacrifice. You see, that is why you should fight sickness just like you will fight sin. Why? Because somebody already took it. Somebody already took it. Somebody already took it. Somebody already took it. Glory to God. So very, very important. So look at what it says. He said, my son, attend to my words. Uh, Proverbs chapter 4, verse 20. He said, my son, attend to my words. Incline thine ear unto my sayings. Let them not depart from thine eyes. Keep them in the midst of thine hearts. Look at it. He said, for they are life unto those that find them and health to all of their flesh. And health to all of their flesh. Or we can say literally medicine. Because the, the, the Hebrew word here that is translated health is murphy, which means something curative, a medicine to cure, to deliver, you know, deliverance, healing, wholesome. Wow, I love that. So that's what God's word is to us. You see, by training, I'm a medical doctor. When we give a patient, in my, in my days of active practice, when we give a patient a medicine, when, when, I write, write, when I write a prescription and I say take this medicine, 500 milligram or one, I mean 500 milligram or 250 milligram every four hours. Every four hours. Why? Because I'm giving the medicine to that patient. I'm prescribing that medicine to that patient so that to help the body to get healed. Amen. To help the body to get healed. So if this patient is not taking the medicine as prescribed, as prescribed, and I said, take this medicine for the next five days. And the patient came back after five days. He said, doctor, I haven't, I mean, this thing is still there. What do you think is going to be the first thing that I'm going to ask? I'm going to ask her or him that, have you been taking the medicine has been prescribed to you? Has been prescribed to you? Have you been taking it? Why is that important? Because for her or him to get well, he needs to adhere to my prescription. When I say take the medicine three times daily for the next 10 days, and if he, if he or she hasn't done that, so how is he or she going to allow the medicine to help her to get healed? How? Because he has not taken the medicine. You see, part of taking medicine, that is why it is important for us to constantly take, take God's medicine, his word. Look at what it says again. Look at what it says again. He said, my son, attend to my words. Incline thine ear unto my sayings. Incline. So, in taking God medicine, we have to attend. Which means, this patient has to know that, okay, I have been prescribed this. Pay attention to that. Pay attention to how I said she, he or she should take the medicine. I believe you are following me. He said, my son, attend to my words. So, in taking God's medicine, we have to attend to his word. We have to attend to his word. We have to attend to his word. Because it is always attending to his word that shows, is showing that, yes, we are cooperating with him. Amen. We are cooperating with him. Because that's, that's very, very important. We are cooperating with, with, uh, with him. You know, New Living Translation says, that my, child, my child, pay attention to what I say. So if this patient is, be, is before me, and I'm telling him or her, Take 250 milligram of uh, Ampiclos every four hours, every four hours, or every six hours. It should pay attention because that's part of him or her taking the medicine because the directions on how to take this medicine is important. So if he's not paying attention, there is no way that he's going to understand how to take the medicine. So that's why it is important for us to pay attention to God's word. And that part of paying attention is will seek to hear the word of God. We we'll seek to hear the word of God. Look at what it says. It says, incline thy ear unto my sayings. New Living Translation says, listen carefully to my words. You see? So that's part of paying attention. We have to seek to hear. And also, what we are hearing and how we hear what we are hearing. 
We should make sure that we are hearing the word of God regarding healing, the right word of God. That is why you should be a student of the word first. And how you hear, which means you are not hearing with a religious glass on. You are open to God's word. You are open to God's word regarding healing. It is God's will for everyone to be healed. Why? Because sickness was never God's original plan. In the Garden of Eden, God, God, God planted that garden. And Eden actually means a place of pleasure. There was no sickness there. There was no sickness there. In the beginning, man wasn't supposed to die. He was supposed to live and fellowship with God forever. But until sin came, then the whole thing came. Until sin came, when they fell, then sickness came. So sickness was not God's original plan. It, I mean, he's a good father. The Bible says God is good and his mercy is endureth forever. He said, oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. So somebody that is good, there's nothing like evil from him. Glory to God. So sickness is of the devil. It's of evil. It's of evil. So which means you need to hear. You need to listen carefully. Listen carefully. Pay attention and listen carefully to God's word. This is, this is part of taking God's medicine. This is part of taking God's medicine. If somebody has told you that healing has been done away with, has been done away with, that the last apostle, the healing power, went with him. <laughs> Sometimes I think about that. I say, how on earth? Will people come up with that idea? But again, it is part of the works of the devil to keep people sick. Planting all different kinds of thoughts, religious thoughts, unbelief, you know, things that are not founded by the word of God. And unfortunately, a lot of us, we don't read the Bible to understand what the Bible is saying. We just hear what people are saying. That's why the word of God is saying, that's why the word of God is saying, listen carefully. Listen carefully. Pay, pay attention to what you are hearing and how you are hearing. So if the religious glasses are on, if you still believe that there is nothing, it's nothing like healing, that healing has been done away with, what is going to happen? Which means you are not hearing well. You are not hearing well because you just want to hear what you already believe. But if you are listening carefully, you are, if you are paying attention, if you just relax, let the Holy Spirit breathe upon the world. Let it imprint the word to your spirit, man. Let him convince you that God still heals today because he is the same yesterday, today, and forever. So he said, listen carefully to my words. Hmm. He said, let them not depart from thy eyes. This is part of taking God, God's medicine. You pay attention. You listen carefully. Then you do not let it depart from your eyes. If I, if I told the patient, do this, do that. He is paying attention. Then he keeps, he, keep, he, he keeps the medicine. If he got home, he just placed the medicine where he cannot be found. How is, how is he or she going to be able to get well? Because part of taking the medicine is, is listening to me, is following my, is, is listening to the directions, and he also keep the medicine, keeps it very well. He doesn't let it get lost. He knows where it is. And even, even in, in the reality, in the medical field, there are things that we've done to, I mean, there are things that science has, I mean, the people have done to help people, I mean, to help a patient to keep, to keep record of their medicine. You know, there are different apps right now that can remind them you have this medicine to take every four hours. You know, even a set timer on their phone. Even there are small boxes that will say Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. You can see that. We're helping them so that they know on Monday they need to take this medicine. So there's stuff like that. You can see that. So if this person is not cooperating with all the different means to help him or her to keep record or to not let this medicine fly away in the sense get lost, how is he or she going to get healed? He said, let them not depart from thy eyes. Keep them in the midst of thy heart. Why is it important for us to keep it in the midst of our hearts? The heart is talking about the spirit of man, the born again recreated human spirit. Why? Because the, holy, the, the, the heart of man, it is where faith is. You see, when you have the understanding of God's word in your spirit, man, it, there might be doubts in your mind through the words of the devil, through the words of the enemy, but you know that you know within you, within you, in your spirit, that is God's will for you to be healed. Then the devil is bombarding your mind. No, 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 you can't be healed. Even your mind is saying, no, no, that can't be true. But go with what you believe in your hearts. That's why the word of God says, keep them in the midst of thine hearts. Hmm. Amplify says, he said, don't lose sight of them. Let them penetrate deep into your hearts. Wow. Don't lose sight of them. Let them penetrate deep into your hearts. 
Hmm. So when the word is in our spirit man, the word can heal us. Faith is of the spirit. Faith is of the spirit. That is why when you are meditating, when you are reading the word out loud, you are writing the word upon the table of your heart. The psalmist says that my tongue is as a pen of a ready writer. My tongue is as a pen of a ready writer. You write God's word into your spirit man through your words, through confession, through meditation. I'm telling you, you are writing the words into your spirit man. You are, you are letting the word get into your spirit man. When you, the word is in your spirit man, that image of healing is formed in your spirit man. And you begin to declare it once again. Not only are you writing it, but you are releasing the creative power of God's, of God's word to heal. You are releasing the creative force of God's word to, 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 to cause whatever sickness, whatever disease that it might be holding you. You are pushing them away. Why? Because those words is in your spirit, man. Amen. Those words is in your spirit, man. So it is important for us to do that. Look at it. When the word is in our spirit, man, Verse 22, New Living Translation says, For they bring life to those who find them. They bring life. They bring life to those who find them. The traditional King James says, For they are life. For they are life. For they are life. For they are life. And that word life is from A, alive, fresh, strong. You can see that, be strong. So that's what God's work can do to us. Unto those that find them. And Health, healing, medicine, be made whole. But before those words can do us good, we have to pay attention, incline our ears, do not let those words depart from before our eyes. We should keep them in the midst of our hearts because the enemy will want, try to steal the word. But having the understanding of the word in our spirit, man, is very important. That is why meditation, confessing God's word, regularly amen is helping us to write the word to get that word to be imprinted upon our just know who i cannot be sick i cannot be sick why because he took my infirmities he took my disease disease i cannot die young of from sickness why because he has promised me that with long life will it satisfy me will it satisfies me i cannot die young because i know that god is god is god's will for me to be healed because he never planned sickness to begin with glory to god i cannot die young because of from sickness because jesus anointed i mean god anointed the lord jesus christ with the holy spirit and with power he went about and he do, doing good and healing all of those that were oppressed of the devil so sickness is an oppression it's never from god so if god can anoint the lord jesus christ to be healing the sick then healing belongs to me in christ you see that's the revelation of it in our spirit mind then you begin to say thank god i am healed now while you're saying that your mind is saying you sure look at the sickness look at the doctor's report but the, the word of god says who's the report will you believe will you be believe the report of the devil no i will believe the report of god then you begin to say oh glory to god i'm healed why you are give, you are being strong in faith part of being strong in faith you are giving thanks to god you believe the word the word that is imprinted engraved into your spirit man you are declaring it the image of healing that is engraved into your spirit man you are declaring it why because that's what god has said you have chosen god's report you are saying lord i thank you you are being strong in faith giving glory to god you are fully you are not fully persuaded you are now fully persuaded persuaded that what God has said is able to do, what God has promised, He will fulfill it. You are saying, Lord, I thank you. I give a praise. Glory to God, I am healed. Praise God, I am healed. Glory to God, I am healed. You are strong in faith, giving glory to God. You are continually saying that, looking into the world, listening to the world, saying it. You're going to say that before you know it. You are healed. Glory to God. All right, let's just read some of this right now. Thank you, Jesus. Let's just read some of these words. Thank you, Lord. Lord, we give a praise. Glory to God. So just listen carefully. I'm just greet some of it. As I said, you can go online. Healing Scriptures by Kennedy again. Or just Healing Scriptures. There are a lot of Healing Scriptures that you can just download. Praise the Lord. So read them out loud. Meditate upon them. So third John 1, 2. Beloved, I wish above all things that thou mayest prosper and be in health, even as thy soul prospereth. First John 5, 14, 15. And this is the confidence that we have in him, that if we ask anything according to his will, he heareth us. 
And if we know that he hears us, whatsoever we ask, we know that we have the petitions that we desired of him. Hebrews 12, 12 and 13. Hebrews 12, verses 12 and 13. Wherefore lift up the hands which hang down, and the feebleness, and make straight path for your feet, lest that which is lame be turned out of the way. But let it rather be healed. Glory to God. Philippians 2, 13. For it is God which worketh in you, both to will and to do of his good pleasure. Romans 8, 32. He that spared not his own son, but delivered him up for us all, how shall he not with him also freely give us all things? James 1, 17. Every good gift and every perfect gift is from above, and cometh down from the Father of lights, with whom is no variableness, neither shadow of turning. Romans 8, 31. If God be for us, who can be against us? Malachi 3, 6, the first part. For I am the Lord, I change not. Isaiah 41, 10. Fear thou not, for I am with thee. Be not dismayed, for I am thy God. I will strengthen thee. Yea, I will help thee. Yea, I will uphold thee with the right end of my righteousness. Deuteronomy 7, 15. And the Lord will take away from thee all sickness, and will put none, you know, in parentheses, permit none, of the evil diseases of Egypt, Egypt which thou knowest, knowest upon thee. Exodus 15, 26. If thou wilt diligently hearken to the voice of the Lord thy God, and will do that which is right in his sight, and will give ear to his commandments, and keep all his statutes, I will put none, or permit none, of these diseases upon thee, which I have permitted upon the Egyptians, for I am the Lord that healeth thee. Jeremiah 30, 17. For I will restore health unto thee, and I will heal thee of thy wounds, saith the Lord. Jeremiah 33, 6. Behold, I will bring it, I will bring it health and cure, and I will cure them, and will reveal unto them the abundance of peace and truth. Deuteronomy 30, 19, 20. I call heaven and earth to record this day against you, that I have set before you life and death, blessing and cursing. Therefore choose life that both thou and thy seed may live. Wow, you see that? Hmm. Glory to God. <laughs> that thou mayest love the Lord thy God, and that thou mayest obey his voice, and that thou mayest cleave unto him, for he is thy life, and the length of thy days, that thou mayest dwell in the land which the Lord swear unto thy fathers. God is your life, and he is the length of your days. Glory to God. Hmm. Leviticus 26, 39, th verses 3 and also 9. If you walk in my statutes and keep my commandments and do them, hmm, I will have respects unto you and make you fruitful and multiply you and establish my covenant with you. Isaiah 58, 8. Then shall thy light break forth as the morning and thine health, wow, shall spring forth speedily. Glory to God. I love that. Say this. Say my health is, is springing forth speedily. Say my health is, is springing forth speedily, and thy righteousness shall go before thee. The glory of the Lord shall be thy real reward. Genesis 20, 17. So Abraham prayed unto God, and God healed Abimelech and his wife and his mid-servants, and they bear children. Second Chronicles 30, 20. And the Lord hearkened, and the Lord hearkened to Ezekiah and healed the people. We're going to stop on this last one. Second Kings 25. Turn again and tell Ezekiah, the captain of my people, thus seeth the Lord, the God, of the God of David, thy father. I have heard thy prayer. I have seen thy tears. Behold, I will heal thee. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I'm telling you, this is exciting. I'm telling you, it's exciting. You see, reading out God's word, it is causing faith to come. You are writing the word to point your spirit, man. It's renewing your mind. And the power of God is being made manifest. You find out that all those doubts, unbeliefs, whatever it is that is bombarding your mind because you are reading God's word. God's word is, has power. It's going to be pushing all those. The, the reality of, God's, of God regarding healing, it's just going to be getting done on you. Glory to God. So take some time. I'm telling you, privately, read it out loud. Read it out loud. 
It's exciting. I'm telling you, and it's refreshing reading God's word. Glory to God. Well, Lord, we thank you. Let's just pray in the Holy Ghost. Mangredush. Lord, we thank you. We thank you for this morning. We worship your holy name. We praise your name. Thank you, Father, because your word is true. Thank you, Lord, for your word is true. For you have sent your word and your word has healed us. We thank you for all of these your words, oh God, that we have read this morning. We thank you, God, for the power that is made available in our body. For sickness has left our body. For we are healed because your word says you have sent your word and your word has healed us. We thank you for Jesus took our sicknesses and our diseases. We thank you, God, for our days we will fulfill. Sickness will not cut our life short in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. We give a praise. For in Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen and amen. Glory to God. Thank you so much, everyone, for joining us this morning. Our God is good. Please go ahead and share this message. I'm telling you, give it to someone. Let somebody listen to it. It is God's word. I'm telling you, it's not. I'm not the healer. The word of God is the healer. Glory to God. God is the healer. But by doing that, you are spreading the word. You are helping somebody to get healed. Medical sciences don't have answers for all of sicknesses. As I told you, by training, I'm a medical doctor. That is what we call idiopathic, which means we don't know the cause. If we don't know the cause of a sickness, it is impossible for us to plan line of management for the sick. For the sick. Amen. Medical doctors don't have all the sicknesses. There are some sicknesses that are not the, 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 that didn't happen because of nature. It is the demon, the devil, that is behind it. Glory to God. It will only take the power of God to heal that. I'm telling you. And there is also terrible diseases. That it will only take the power of God to heal. I'm telling you. Glory to God. And this is free. Because our God is good. Father, we thank you for today. We give a praise. For in Jesus' name, we have prayed. Please say this out loud with me. Say, I am the healed of the Lord. Satan cannot steal my health. Satan cannot steal my health. I am the healed of the Lord. I am healed from the top of my head to the sole of my feet. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name. Father, I pray for your people. I say no evil shall befall them. No place shall come near their dwelling place. In their pathway is life and there is no death. Everything they do was successful. Thank you, Father, for all of their debts are paid or dematerialized. Thank you, Lord, for business opportunities, job opportunities, great ideas will begin to flood their minds and will be able to come upon them. Thank you, Father, for in Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen and amen. Glory to God. Today's Bible reading is Luke chapter 21 and also uh, our 50 minutes of praying in, in the Holy Ghost. Don't forget, glory to God. And the giving link is there. You know, we are looking at some missions this year and also our video equipment project. Amen. amen. This is what God has called us into and we are excited about it because I'm telling you, it, it, it is a lazy person that will say, that God has called me, I don't think I can do it. God has given us the opportunity to do ministries. You don't have to have a big congregation physically, glory to God, because you can, <laughs> but you can also have a large congregation all over the world. How? Through the internet, through this power of technology, I'm telling you. So, it doesn't, if you just have a phone, a tripod, record yourself, put it on social media, glory to God, people, is gonna, people are going to be blessed. So, if God is putting something in your heart to share with people, don't wait until, oh, Lord, what am I going to what, what do? Almost everybody have a phone. Glory to God. If you don't even have a phone, have a little bit of camera that you can record yourself, upload it. Facebook account is free. It's free. So to say you cannot do ministry, then you are lazy. You can do ministry. If it's just 10 minutes of something that God put in your heart, or 10 minutes that you found out from God's word, share it with people. You are helping people to make their lives better. I'm telling you, there is nothing that can transform better than God's word. God's word has trans transforming power. It has transforming power. So don't wait and say, well, I'm, I'm going to have a, a big auditorium. No, don't wait for that. Glory to God. Eventually, that might be the place that you will, you will, but God has given us this opportunity to be able to connect people with people all over the world. Thank God for it. Lord, we thank you for this. We give a praise. For in Jesus' name, we have prayed. Thank you so much, Facebook family. Thank you so much, Periscope family. Watch this video over and over again and tag someone, I'm telling you. Remember that you have to listen to the word, incline your ears until it's saying, don't let it depart from you. Let it get into your spirit, man, 
and begin to give God the glory regarding the word. Begin to say it. As we are saying it, you are releasing the medicine of God's word into your body. And the medicine, you can take it as many times. I'm going to, I'm going to encourage you. If you are facing any area of challenge in your, in, in, regarding healing, confess God's word at least three times in a day. I'm telling you. You know, when we say, tell patient, take your medicine every, uh, three times or four times in a day, there is a reason why. Because we want the dose of that medicine to be constant in the body. You know, the concentration of that, of that medicine to be in the body. Why? Because it is the, it is the availability of that medicine. That is what in, in pharmacology, that is what we call bioavailability, which means what, what the, the, the amount of the drug that is available in the system to always affect whatever we want. So we want that, that, that level to be, to be, I mean, we want that drug to be available in the body so that it can always help the same way. I'm telling you, you see, the same way it is in the spiritual the more you are saying the word of God, the more faith is coming, the more God's power is made available in your body. Lord, it's God. So, at least three times a day, confess God's word. There is no side effect. You can say it 10, 20 times. No side effect. That's my prescription for you this morning. Glory to God. And keep saying it. Keep saying it. Keep saying it. Until you just find out that, wow. Of course, you believe in your heart that it is done. But you are releasing that which you believe in your heart to make manifest, to be made manifest in the natural. So, keep saying it. Until you just find out that, wow, one day, Everything is gone. Even tumor gone. Glory to God. Even terrible migraine gone. Even man galalush kombrede yalabatu sofraba cancer gone. Glory to God. Why? Because there is nothing that the medicine of God's word cannot heal. Glory to God. Thank you, Father. For in Jesus' name, we have prayed today. Glory to God. Thank you so much. So, until Monday, for another episode of Faith Food Devotion, today, it is healing school, or we also call it faith, uh, faith for healing. Glory to God. Because faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word. But on Monday, it is faith food. Until Monday. So, see you next time. Remember that Jesus is Lord and is coming very, very soon. Shalom. Be blessed.